the fan. Shoes. Oh my god, shoes. Let's get some shoes. Why is that so fun? I think my neighbour was looking. Okay, I look a bit more normal now. Let's start the video. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd tell you a little story about something funny that happened over the weekend. Meanwhile, I shall cook my lunch because I'm a working woman. Working nine to five. Let's just kick it off straight away with the story. Also, I'm going to be making tuna pasta salad if you've never made it before. Why not follow along with me? Let's put the pasta on. She's a true queen. She practices what she preaches. She weighs out her pasta. Oh my gosh, who else watches those videos where it's like, I ate the recommended serving size. Me, I love them. I think the, the serving size is 75 grams. Nah, nah, that's nothing. That is nothing. 100 between two, because I'm going to flesh it out with loads of salad. 110. So what have I been up to lately? What have I been doing? What's been going on? Why do my neighbors think I'm having an affair? Well, for anyone who knows me, they know that I am somebody who has multiple relationships with men. And what I mean by that is I am... <coughs> That's hot. So this is my hot water tap, sorry. What I mean by multiple relationships with men is that I've got my boyfriend, I've got my best friend. Like, I just feel like all my main relationships in life, like whether it's friendships, family, it's with men. Anyway, you'll know that I live with my boyfriend of nearly two years, it's nearly our anniversary. So we live together and we live in quite a close knit, would you call it a neighborhood? So in the building that we live in, all of the balconies out front face each other. So everyone's properties sort of overlook onto each other which for some people is horrendous, some people like it. Fine, I just deal with it. So I've only lived here for like six months maybe, or maybe less. I moved in in lockdown, so April, May, June, July, August. I've lived here for four months and obviously there's not been many people coming and going because we've been in lockdown. <laughs> On the weekend, I had Joel come over. For anyone who doesn't know, Joel from Joel and Leah, main channel here on YouTube, and I was just really nervous because I just I've never like explained to my neighbors like what I do for a job or just anything I didn't know what they would think to be honest anyway my boyfriend was away this is why it's dodgy this is what I forgot to tell you so my boyfriend was away this weekend he went back up north to see family I didn't go up because I had loads of work that needed to get done and I was like I'm just gonna stay in Chichester and get the work done and Joel came over on Saturday because we had stuff to do. I let him in downstairs, like he parks in the car parking space where my boyfriend would usually park his car. And then like we walk through the gates and then literally it's like neighbor, neighbor. I can see their thoughts, they're thinking, their faces were like this actually, they were like, it was so strange. And I was like, I think they're thinking I'm having an affair. I think they think they, that I'm now trying to make them complicit. Like, don't say anything. I was just feeling really uncomfortable. I was like, what do I do? I can't just sort of turn around and be like, he's not into me. He doesn't bat for this team. So I was just like, okay, just smile and say, this is Joel, this is Joel, this is Joel. And you know, they're kind of like smiling, like. <laughs> anyway, in the end, I just turned around and I was like, this is my cousin, Joel. And um, I had nothing, I was thinking I could go for brother, but then, you know, maybe I'll get caught out of that lie one day. They'll be like, you know, how was your brother? And I'd be like, John. And they'll be like, no, Joel. Anyway, I had to lie. I just said, this is my cousin. They were like, yeah, cool. Well, they weren't that excited. They were just like, oh, nice. Anyone can tell from a mile off that we're not cousins. You know, fake it till you make it. Also, what I think's funny is that Clearly, any boy and girl can just be friends, but because we live in this sort of like, let's call it retirement village, retire, basically retirement flats, they're not, they're really lovely. The people that are selling these flats didn't expect that they'd be bought by people that are elderly. But anyway, you know, all my neighbors that are elderly, maybe what goes hand in hand with that is sort of like traditional values and people and my boyfriend's away for the weekend suddenly another man that they've never seen before who I'm quite pally pally with 
is like parking in our space, coming into the flat. He didn't sleep over because, my gosh, could you imagine? The neighbours would then have to sort of do a confession to my boyfriend. We just need to tell you something we know. But yeah, I just thought it was quite funny and uh, awkward. We had like dinner out on the terrace where I would always usually have dinner with Atch. And my neighbours like glanced over, like, you know, when they sort of like the other neighbours up top that can see on, glanced over as if to be like, that's not Atch. <laughs> It is really funny. Tickled me, anyway. So yeah, that's my many boys in my life story. Gosh, this takes longer than what I thought. I should have put the pasta on quicker. Right, 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 right. Oh, don't know if I've ever shown you this machine. This is where I wash my leaves. So you take your spinach or whatever leaf you're after. I saw my godmother use this once in Cyprus and I was like, I need to get myself one of them. And then my grandma got me one. Give it a wash. Because that's the thing, usually people don't want to wash salad because then it's all wet and they want it really dry. So I've stuck it inside the case, then I simply get this. Maybe this is really obvious to a lot of people, a salad spinner, but to me it was a new device. And then you just go like that. How fun is that? You're going to see the amount of liquid that comes out, so good. Do you know what's also really hard is just cooking and talking. Stop, that's the brake button. All that extra water that was in the leaves. That's why people don't want to wash leaves. They just don't want to have soggy salad. It was quite green in colour as well. Then that simply goes into the salad bowl. It's quite a lot, actually. I think I'll leave it at that. Oh, anyone else love the smell of pasta? Love it. What else have I been up to? Okay. So whilst Joel was here, we did a lot of filming. We had some stuff from the Brighton trip that we needed to finish up. So we got that done. Oh, and then we went to the beach for like two hours and it was really, really nice actually. It was quite quiet. Didn't get any footage actually. It was really good fun. Definitely look out for the videos on those two Brits if you're not already subscribed to that because we're just doing like lots of UK sort of road trips and vlogging them and sort of doing recommendations and all sorts of stuff like that. So that's all good fun. Oh yeah, I've also been releasing some solo videos over on Property Couple. So just because Atch is so busy with his job, like he's right there in the dungeon. That's what I call the dungeon, the spare room. At the moment, just working away. And when we do have time to do property stuff together, I don't usually film it because it's kind of like boringy stuff, whether it's talking to like solicitors, accountants, brokers, like the sort of thing that we're building up is not, I don't really know how vloggable that is. So I thought I would do some videos that are more to do with anyone in the UK buying a property for the first time, like first time buyers for residential, not necessarily investment. So I've done a few videos around that. If you're interested in <laughs> the government help to buy scheme, I've also done a video called like estate agent jargon why am i plugging this okay if you want to go watch it go watch it you don't have to i think the pasta's ready now let's do the test oh i don't think that's done actually depends if you like it very al dente or not no it's not done that's not done at all, bruv. I keep calling everyone bruv or big man. I love saying that. Yes, big man. Whatever you say, big man. I'm going to chop a pepper into this or maybe half, maybe a whole. Don't be a weirdo. Just do a whole thing. I've been watching so many new YouTubers at the moment. I feel like I've been watching more YouTube than ever before. Whereas before I was always kind of someone that was like, yeah, I upload on YouTube, but I don't consume that much YouTube. Recently, I have been consuming so much YouTube that you wouldn't believe. My current favorite vlogger is called Christina and she's a, um, she's like a YouTuber and also she works at a strip club, so she's a stripper. But my gosh, she is the most down to earth chick I have ever come across online. She's so sweet. I think she's from Chicago because her accent well, yeah, actually, I think she is from Chicago, but I wouldn't be able to tell just from someone's accent. But I've read in the comments, I think, like, and she always refers to things in Chicago. So I think that's where she is. She's so nice. Like, you just wouldn't expect. I know this is, like, awful. I'm not really, like, I sound like someone in this video that's, like, really stereotypy. You know, like, a boy and a girl can't be friends. I felt like I had to tell my neighbours that my male friend was a cousin. <laughs> And then also I've just said that a stripper's like really down to earth. You don't expect that. I think it's because she makes so much money stripping and also she's like 
when you look at her, you know, she's got a fake bum, she's got bum implants, she's got breast implants, she's just had a nose job. Nothing against surgery. I think go for it if you can afford it and you want it and it's going to enhance your life, that's fine. But like when you first look at someone, of course you do make impressions of people and you kind of think, oh my gosh, this is, this is going to be the kind of person that's like, you know, like insta baddie, don't talk to me. I'm like, I'm so much better than you. But no, she's absolutely lovely. So if I remember to leave her link in my description, I will, because I just, I'm obsessed. She's so nice. I kind of want to leave my pasta to go a little bit cold before it touches those leaves. Got all my peppers, my tomatoes, and I am going to be using some tuna. Do you know what? I don't really know where you get this tuna from. It's the only tuna I'll eat. <laughs> I'm a bit of a tuna snob, as in like tuna, I'll obviously eat fresh tuna, but like in terms of like tuna that comes from a can, this is like, where do we get it from? Well, we don't actually, no way. 250 grams, it's like nine pounds a tin. It's quite pricey, could have got fresh, but very kindly, Atch's family always like stock us up on like nice stuff. You can buy this in Harrods, I've seen it in Harrods. I don't know if I've ever seen it in like a normal supermarket, maybe they do have it. Oh, you can buy it on Amazon. Okay, this is why it's nice. White tuna, individually lined caught. It's just so much nicer than any canned tuna I've ever had in my life and canned tuna actually makes me feel a little bit ill. But this stuff is like, just you can taste the premiumness in it. It's the only tuna from a tin I would consider. Obviously, if someone made me tuna from a tin, I wouldn't say no, I wouldn't be like, ew, I'm not eating that. But for my own choice at home, this is my preference. I feel a bit mortified that I've just admitted that I'm a tuna snob. Especially after I just watched a video the other day about being relatable. That's not relatable, is it? Oh, <gasps> that is hardly any pasta. Wow, okay. That's gotta feed two people. I don't know if you can tell. You probably can't tell from just looking, but it's on another level, this tuna. I need some big spoons. Should have done a bigger bowl, Leah. Should have done a bigger bowl. Let's get my tomatoes in. I don't know why they make those chopping boards so heavy. I can't pick it up. Like I actually can't pick up my wooden chopping board without being like, whoa. So yeah, back to the gym. Need to improve my strength soon. I think that's kind of it. I've got this little balsamic glaze that goes over the top and tastes really lovely. Yeah, that's it guys. That is my little cooking chatty vlog, tea vlog, tea vlog, tea vlog for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I am gonna tidy up now and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for having a little cooking lunch with me. I hope you've had this on in the background whilst chilling, tidying. I just love doing chores. And I will see you guys in the next one. Lots of love, bye. Guys, tip, just before I go, to make any salad look better, get some nigella seeds, also called black onion seeds, and literally just, I don't know why, but does that not just look like a more premium salad now? <laughs> I don't know why. It just looks like I've put more effort into that. This is also very nice. Lovely. You looking forward to this, app? Yeah. You've been feeling a bit unwell lately, haven't you? Yeah, a bit, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna get the camera out of your face now. I can just tell you're done. <laughs> Blame it on me. What you waiting for? What you waiting for? What you waiting for now? What